any kind of medication or other uh, compound into the to the body is to be absorbed through the mucous membranes. So certain plastics, paints, uh, and other very common household products outguess lots of volatile organic compounds that can be um, extremely, extremely toxic. And then the last method, of course, is injected. And vaccines are the primary source of uh, in injected um, neuro of toxins and mercury and aluminum being the two most uh, common. Mercury is the second most toxic substance on the planet. Uh, plutonium is the number one most toxic substance and it is typically only introduced to the body when it's inhaled after a nuclear disaster. So there is no safe level of mercury. Mercury accumulates in the body over time as a result of chronic exposure in the air, the water, and the food supply, and of course, uh, through uh, injection uh, via vaccines. It is a neurotoxin. It does, it's one of the, these heavy metals are one of the few um, items that do cross the blood brain barrier, and that's what makes them neurotoxins. The other thing that's important to understand, while we'll talk a little more about this in a few moments, but when anything is injected into the body, it's considered a closed system. There is no mechanism when it's injected into the body for the body to naturally detoxify itself from these toxins. When you ingest something or inhale something, there are methods, the body does have methods for detoxification. And when items or toxins are injected, there is no method for detoxification. So it's very important to understand as we start to look at methods for uh, ways to minimize exposure to these kinds of toxic, toxic substances. Okay, so now that we understand uh, a little bit more about how the toxins get into our pets, we're gonna look a little bit at the health implications of this prolonged exposure and uh, how we can make life better for our pets and ultimately for our whole families. So what is a toxin? Well, in its simplest form there, you can see it's a substance that causes harm. Uh, it can be man-made, but it can also be natural. So if you think about snake venom or some plants ha that have uh, venom as part of their defense mechanism, those are also toxins. And even natural processes in the body. Uh, can can be um, can produce toxins. So, for example, protein uh, when it's broken down by the body produces ammonia and urea. So those are toxins, but they're a natural by byproduct of metabolism, and the body has a mechanism for uh, eliminating those toxic substances from the body. Mm -hmm.